What is up, everybody? I am back. The binge continues. The cringe continues. Bienvenidos. Um, and I don't know what Spanish for cringe is. Bodyguard work. <laughs> right. And after that, it's back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do. Yeah, I had a friend named Barrett who would tell me, like, that there's Sector 7, which is Plan G, and then you just walk from Plan A through B through G through etc, etc. So, yeah, last time we left off, we were in that church. That was the hole that Cloud plummeted through. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, so that was the hole that Cloud plummeted through. I actually don't think that's true at all. I don't think that he would... Oh, it looks like this isn't the first time this has happened. Oh my god, that's hilarious that there's like... There's like... Well... Uh, in, in parallel universes, like, different clouds, like, fell through the roofs like they were some kind of goddamn Spider-Man into the Spider-Verses spiders. Oh, man. Anyway, this is a segment... God, this is a segment... So we were just leaving the church and just hopping across these he was one of the rooftops. Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Don't know. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. I'm not gonna Back do to a my whole question. lot of so what's he to you? talking. Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Forget it. Hmm? You mad? Anyway, this is like one of the most important dialogues in the entire game. So I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of talking. We're just going to sit here for a little bit and just take all this in. That's actually going to be a pretty common theme Careful. throughout this entire chapter. Not a lot of room. Gotcha. Thanks. Oh, wow. Aerith uh, can apparently transmute her body into the middle of clouds there. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is going to be a whole, ch like, we're in for a stretch of a lot of dialogue, which is totally fine by me. But uh, if you're expecting me to riff and rail, I am kind of not going to be too into the mood for that on this section of the game here. I mean, this is really where we see the entire establishment between these two characters, and I, I want to do that justice. A before. Be surprised if you had. It's honestly kind of exciting. Well, first time and all. It'd be hilarious if we busted out into like some kind of fucking Mirror's Edge segment where we're just running around parkouring across all of the all of the roofs. Oh man. Oh, hi, Aerith. Got a little bit ahead of yourself there. <laughs> Wait! Give me a moment. Come on, you could do it. <laughs> Don't just run off on your own. <laughs> Those are the words of a soldier candidate? So petty. Now, this is such a huge break from, like, the intone from the rest of the game, right? Because there's no, there's no fighting, there's no violence. It just kind of becomes this huge sequence where it's just you and... Uh, it's just Cloud and Aerith, and it's like... That's it, you know? That's just, that's just character, and it's so... Un... I mean, you get it a lot in like RPGs. So does no but... one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Oh, really? It's free real estate? Fuck yeah. Man, good Tim and Eric on the line here. We gotta. It looks kinda rusty. I'll go first. Uh. It's pretty old. Be careful. Cloud, okay. just use your. Just use your anti tetanus material. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Aerith swears? No, that's not... That's... That's <laughs> not what I expected. Aerith isn't supposed to swear. Whew. That was unexpected. Thank you, Cloud. 
Huh. There it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. A whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. Yeah, so, uh, this might be explained a little bit more in depth later, but not only is there, like, a gigantic, uh, plate above in the city of Midgar, there's also, like, this wall that extends around it, and it makes it impossible to leave. And you can see it over there, that's what she was talking about. And so, uh, if you, if you want to leave Midgar, I mean, you gotta be, you gotta be wealthy to do it, I guess. Because if you live in the slums... This time, I'll go first. <laughs> After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? See for yourself. I mean, I will give the people who hmm. live in the slums a lot Maybe of credit. I'll They're amazing engineers. You lonesome. Just... <gasps> oh, Jesus. Maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Once upon a time, there was a guy named Cloud. And he Not for free. Cheapskate. You're ah! 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 It's a mercenary storyteller. Ah! 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 Huh. Gotcha. You're killing me here. <laughs> Psych. I yeah, I'll give people in the slums credit. They were able to make houses out of what appear to be dead, like destroyed pipes and more destroyed pipes. In fact, it's basically wrought iron and pipes that they have used to create their entire architectural school. <laughs> Cloud is so not into the sliding. Because uh, he's probably just like, ow, 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 tetanus, tetanus, tetanus. Oh God, got shards all up in the everything. <laughs> You good? Of course. <laughs> My hero. <laughs> Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Oh, oh shit. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. Hmm. Huh. There's a face that's Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold huh. on. I thought scarier things in my sleep. I just did anyone else hear that? Oh shit. Oh, okay. So oh my god. Okay, there's like seven things that are going through my mind right now. Uh, number one is that it, okay, thought number one, I really liked how Aerith was basically able to go through that entire segment without, like, Cloud having to, like, carry her through it. I thought that was cool. Up until the end where they kind of immediately peed on that thought before I could get it out. Number two, I got, like, chills, like, four times in the past, like, 30 seconds. One was they played Aerith's theme, so I hope they don't do that again because that's too much. Then when her name popped up saying she joined the party, it was like, <gasps> oh God, it's really here. And then this song started playing. And first of all, this song itself is like fucking amazing. Uh, and like, this is like the slums. You know, you just heard this so much and it was just in your brain. But also for whatever reason with this remake, they decided to make this song start the exact same way as Metal Gear Solid. I don't know why they did that. I don't even know if that was intentional or not, but that was too much of a mind fuck. I just got hit with like nine different things right there. 
and I just had to take a moment to get that all out there. But the biggest part that was crazy to me was that that song sounded exactly like the menu theme to Metal Gear Solid. I had no idea why. Anyway, we're going to crank the tunes for a little bit. The, uh... Um... I guess the, uh, the kind of section where we're, where we're doing a lot of the dialogue, well, that's going to take a little bit of a backseat here. But, you know, we're going to we're gonna definitely pop open uh, Aerith's equipment and stuff and see what she's got equipped. So, in terms of materia, Aerith has prayer. Of course she does. Which is just a ability. It doesn't cost MP for her to heal with prayer. Prayer sucks, so I'm probably not going to use it too much, but we'll see. Uh, well, let's even use the refocus limit break. I don't know what the hell that is. But, okay, so Aerith... Really doesn't come with particularly good materia. Ice, maybe I'll hang on to ice materia. I don't know. Claude, what do you got? Okay, he's got pretty much the usual stuff. Aerith, you're gonna go ahead and take that chocobo materia back. Uh, and we'll probably give her, let's see, what do we, what do we have represented here? We have healing. We already have some ice, so I'm going to take away her ice materia. I'm going to give her fire materia, I think. So, because we already have a, a higher level ice materia that um, that Cloud has anyway. So we're going to give Aerith the... Poisana. The cures poison. We might need this later, but we I haven't gotten poisoned yet as far as I can tell. So I don't think we're going to use it much. Uh, we're definitely going to take the fire materia. Um, I think we're going to leave Tifa's fire materia. We're going to use this one because it's going to level up really fast. And we might as well opt for getting like more fire, more higher level fire than like only one good fire and then a bunch of crappy fire. And we'll also go ahead and give Aerith the lightning materia so that we can get that also nice and leveled up so we're gonna have fire and lightning and then cloud has the other major elements and cloud also has healing materia and Aerith has prayer so I think that's all it and we'll just also take a second to level up Aerith's uh, guard stick here which is like a yardstick but instead of measuring uh, how long something is it measures something and how whack you whack things with it and we're gonna go ahead and give her that extra materia slot that's an expensive upgrade 10 sp for that one okay well that's fine and we'll give her the magic attack power plus 12 which is really really good we'll give her defense plus seven I've, yeah Aerith's upgrades are extremely expensive uh, and we'll give her max MP plus 8, and then we'll give her the extra HP, I think. Doot, doot, doot. There we are. Navigating around. Okay, so I'm going to press right. Why? If you're thinking to yourself, like, oh, bird, you pressed right, you would assume that you would. I would go to uh, M attack up. Nope. This is me pressing right twice. Yeah, navigating this menu sucks ass. Anyway. Let's go ahead and slot Aerith with one more materia. And we're, I'm thinking I'm going to give her poison materia. We haven't used it yet. And I'm going to want to get that leveled up because poison is super duper fun to use. It's really good on bosses. Where so, are you going, Cloud? Um, the... Not the wrong way. You were heading towards the wrong way because you're a, you're a, you're a dumb. Anyway, out, what the Cloud. fuck, man? Hedgehog <laughs> pie? What the hell? Hedgehog pie is a food. It's not a fucking. First of all, this is like Sonic the Hedgehog, but like the weird one before he got um, like it, from the movie, but before they remade him. This, this is a really early version. He sucked so much. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's a weird fucking name. Um, 
I'm hoping that uh, I don't have to fight a whole lot of those, but yeah, I guess that was the closest we're going to get to a random encounter in this game. Anyway, I'm just taking a moment to take in some of these surroundings because this is so eerie and weird looking. I think that uh, they did such a great job with the with the look of the slums in this video game. I mean, it kind of looks like... It, it just looks so raw. Like, they just sent all the artists to, like, a construction site, and they were like, make this happen. Anyway, we're definitely going to play as Aerith for a little bit here. Aerith possesses both powerful offensive and support spells and effective in multiple roles. Hold down square to deliver a continuous stream of magic attacks. Okay, so... Uh, so she has, like, ranged attacks as well as melee attacks, I believe. And we're going to... Oh, wow, her... Wow. Her... This is her dodge roll. It's fucking awful. Wow, she's not good in combat. Um, that's why I'm going to use her. She's going to be uh, a lot of fun. Okay, what's her weapon proficiencies, by the way? I bet she doesn't have any. Uh, let's check. Upgrade. Okay, so equipment. Aerith. Uh, she has Arcane Ward. Okay. What does that do? Attack spells cast within the ward will automatically be cast twice. God, that sounds powerful. Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. <laughs> I don't know which I would be more proud of, knowing the slums or knowing what a barracks looks like. Both of them seem kind of... Situations where you're really making the most of what you got, don't you think? Uh, well, I guess anything will be home if it's your home. What the fuck does that mean? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. We're in for... We're in for this this now, aren't we? I can't believe this is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Out, Come Mom. on, there's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah, well, it's got a good view of the reactor. Wow, I wouldn't want to not look at the reactor. It's on fire! In the show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Um, yeah. Oh, on your way home from the church? That's right. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Did any debris hit the church? Not yes. Debris. No, that's something at least. But you may not be so lucky next time. Okay, well, while she talks to this rando, I guess I'm gonna see... Hey, you know a way to get topside? Oh, uh, everyone's trying to look at the reactor, so... Where is it? What's so special about the reactor? They said it's on fire, but I don't fucking see a reactor anywhere. Uh, yeah, I don't see a reactor. Real good view of the reactor, Aerith. Hmm, maybe you're actually full of shit. Wow, who knew?